everybody. Today we're making soap. I got chap lips. Don't you hate it when you get chap lips? Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna put a few, a, a few videos at the beginning of every one of these videos, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna, it'll stop, you know, repeating, and you'll have the final preparations of each one of these soaps. So we'll have like how to make boo boo soap. You know how to make you know this soap how to make that soap so there'll be a couple of different videos but you're gonna see the same things at the very very beginning so if you've already seen this once it doesn't mean you've seen this video okay so now we're starting to see um, this is soap that's been in jail let me get the spoon hang on okay so here is our gelled soap sometimes it'll be stiffer than this and here is the soap, okay? And as it's cooking, it slowly just comes out of gel and goes into soap or turns into soap. Um, so when it gets going pretty good, you know, a pretty good little thick layer around it, especially when you start having it rise up like this is doing, this is rising up above the level. You can maybe see that. We want to stir it here. You can see we got a pretty good size band going around uh, here. We got an even bigger band of it. Here we're starting to get a little boily, fluffy, bubbly action over here. So we're going to stir all of these and then take our spatula and clean down the sides and clean our spoon good. Okay, so we're making the... Uh, restful lavender and uh, with the restful lavender we take a couple of tablespoons of the liquid uh, and put the alkanet root in it this is the liquid from the the oils from the super fats and we put the alkanet root in here this is a double batch seven quart crock pot uh, we put one teaspoon of alkanet root in here right Bridget yes. yeah one teaspoon of alkanet root um, and then this is our super fats and that's what we're going to put in there now uh, this is our base recipe and this is our super fats we cook our base recipe we don't cook our super fats the crock pots off all right okay um, I need you to cut these up you know how to do them right yeah Right. Yes, and save the wrappers and the bags. We're making bar 16 next door, and we're going to cut up our embeds. Okay, so um, now we're going to stir that, and we're going to let this cool, but I do a crock pot swirl with this particular recipe, and I've been doing it one way, and I'm going to do it a different way today. That's why I put the alkanet root in, the li in that liquid from the super fats. So now we're just stirring these in. And there's a big old piece of beautiful shea butter straight from, I think, Ghana, from the Women's Cooperative in Africa. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, and so anyway, so. Uh, and so now oh, I should have put my spoon back in there and you can see it's still hot we just cut it off um, and we're just gonna let it cool to 160 degrees then we're gonna add our restful lavender uh, and we're going to add our colorant and our restful lavender is French lavender the one that will knock you out <clears throat> okay so about every five ten minutes um, you'll see that you're crisping up. I'm just going to put this clip on all the soaps I'm making. So the soap I'm making in this video may be a different color than this one, but because it's white, you can really see the crispies forming. And so you really just have to turn this over. You want to dig down and stir it really good. The heat from the bottom uh, needs to be released. And then you just take your spatula clean your sides um, 
clean your spoon and um, put your lid back on and let it continue to cool. Now, ever so often when you're getting close, you take um, a candy thermometer. This is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I find it to be the most accurate. Um, the little ray gun thermometers, I have did some tests with those and this thing gives me a better reading on the temperature of the soap than anything I've found. And so now we can check the temperature and we're up to 170. It's going to keep moving. We got to get to 160. So we've got time. So I'm not going to find out exactly how hot it is because I know it's over 160 and I know it's not close. So there you go. We just keep, uh, keep checking the temp and keep stirring. Okay. Now we're doing the French lavender, which is our restful lavender. And French lavender is bought from Essential Depot. There may be other places you can get it, but it smells like heaven. It's the floral bouquet of the family. Um, it, uh, but it also does not have the skin healing properties that regular lavender does. It has a few, but not like regular lavender. And this is the one which will knock you out. It will make you go to sleep. I've spilled it on myself at work and wondered if I was going to make it until the end of the day. Uh, and I had had sleep that night. So this French lavender will definitely um, hook you up. Can you check the temperature on that one there and that one there and stir that last one right now? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, so we are... Oh. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Ooh. That French lavender, it soothes your mind. Lord, I can feel the wave going across my brain because I just got myself a mouthful of smell and a nose full and lungs full and a belly full. And... Okay. Okay, so we got that stirred in well. Now we're going to do something different. We're going to take and re-stir this up. This is our um, one teaspoon of alkanet root and a couple of tablespoons of the, um, where'd my spatula go? Oh, there it is. Um, a couple of tablespoons, uh, a couple of tablespoons of the olive oil and a teaspoon of our alkanet root and we're going to drizzle it into our soap and now we've got to stir this well enough to make the olive oil blend with the soap because it is olive oil and and you don't want to use too much you know you want to you want to uh, be sparing just enough to blend okay so now we have a marbled butt cake look. And hey, wait, 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 we forgot. No, no, I don't I don't put those in there. Oh, okay. I thought we did. Alright, so now you can see we have a couple of different tones of color. And we're just gonna put that in. Whoop. Oh, and it smells so good. Does that lavender smell absolutely heaven? Oh, yes, it does. Yes, you have to have French lavender. I'm hereby just telling you, buy it now. 
Don't let the opportunity pass you up. Don't let them run out. It's seasonal. Uh-oh, I dropped a splat on the floor. Bridget's gonna kill me. Well, it'll just make the floor easier to mop. <laughs> soap included. Soap included. <laughs> soap included. After a hard night soaping, I just take the water and go, because mm, <laughs> I'm pre-lathered. All right, I need, uh, I'm gonna need a couple more TEA spoons. Okay, I think I have a touch more in one than in the other one. Okay, so now we're gonna do our swirl. crispy they were hot yeah this is a tablespoon it doesn't do it as well as a TEA spoon so just know this guys there we go isn't that pretty mm -hmm. all right take that one away all right oh, there's a little crispy we've really re limited our crispies today we've been good Hard yeah. Some days it, it, we just have so many customers, it, there's nobody to stir the soap and it happens. Yep. This one is ready. It's 160. Okay. Well, 161. Okay. Here's the restful lavender label. Take it away, Scotty. Ta da! Happy soaping, everybody. Did we have some happy soaping yesterday? Lots of happy soaping yesterday. Well, we got done, done at a decent time, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And then we got to have some fun. Yep. What did we do? We made a video for Deep Digger Dan. Deep Digger Dan. He's like, make videos, uh, you know, for me, asking people to give to my charity, which is the Rays of Sunshine, which is the English version of uh, make a wish make a wish that's yeah. right and uh and so we're really excited about that mm -hmm. and so we did the video and i sent it to him yesterday but of course i uploaded a copy and i'm going to put it at the end of the video so everybody can see it yes yes all right and uh, i still got chap lips but i'm better are you coming through baby oh well just come on uh, oh, it'd be all right. It'd, it'd be, be all right. People, people like a little, a little entertainment, and 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 this string here is a little loose. And he went back to see if I had in my tool bin the right stuff. Where's puzzles? The cat is still very dis upset with us because we brought puggles with us. I see how this works. evil looks and all her hair was standing up. Yeah, there is a dog in the house. And what's so crazy, she likes dogs. Yeah. But, but they're, they're in her place. This is her place. This is her territory. Yeah. And, and right now she's pacing in front of this table, switching her tail. How dare you bring that filthy, mangy dog in here? Yep. Oh, there he is. He's under the table. That that's why. Tightened? Oh, that's why she's doing it. I don't know. See if that feels about right. Okay, let me see. Now lock it. Oh, I got a good sound out of that. Okay, it? lock the little booger. You see, you need men for things like this. And y'all women, some of y'all women out there are going like, I can do that stuff for myself. Well, I got a whole list of stuff I got to do. And, and I'm just grateful to have a man around that understands some things that I could probably figure it out. I could Google it, right? I could Google it. We could Google it. Could you we? Google it? We could Google it. But I don't want it. But it takes us, what, an hour? Mm-hmm. And plus, plus, we don't have the same physical strength in our hands. We don't have man muscles. We yeah. got girl muscles. Well, like I, like, but now I can open a jar of pickles better than Michael though. 
I don't. I find that true too. Sometimes I can get jar open. Y'all let me see him going. And he's gonna break that jar now. And I'm like, give me that. <laughs> and he's like, how do you do that? I was like, I got the right grip. That's all it is. We can grab it better. Maybe but, that's what it is. Yeah, but but for me and you, know, they have that better hand muscle. Like he was gonna break that jar in half. Oh, yeah. He wanted his hands. Did you get it? Uh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Give me a second, and I'll tell you if it worked. Okay. All right. So, so it's just been giving you trouble. Which yeah. One you got in first? Which one? Which one? It's always been just a little loose. That one straight. We're, we got to go with our lighter colored soaps first. Yeah. So uh, this video will be at the end of each soap mm -hmm. um, because. We did a whole bunch of soap videos. Yeah, but I'm doing separate videos on the on the soaps, but a few clips will be interchangeable. And so instead of just, you know, doing a cut video for each soap, I said, oh, we'll just do the cut video and stick it on the end. Yeah. And um, is that is that because we can't have super long videos no more? Uh, well, they have cut me down to an hour. The asses. Oh. The, the, the gall. The gall. It's horrible. Mmm. better but I think it needs to be a little tighter oh well let's we'll do a second one before we give up okay so this is the honey and oats show so take yeah take them over there and show them the beautiful gold color on the inside it, it lightens back out and it's just gorgeous and right now <laughs> it we smells are. like oats and honey uh, like you've been making aren't they pretty all the oats and honey in front of you sweet they with smell honey. so good yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. It's called the Plain Jane. That's what we call it, Plain Jane. You come our way up. Okay. <laughs> pick up Puggles and bring him over here. You'll have to pick him up to, to tote him over here in range. He'll be up here. Come so that he'll be in the video. Come on. 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 He, right. See, he was supposed to be a pug. Ah. He, too he is a pug. He's a really he's big back. pug. He took after the American pug. His, Say, what was it? His dad too. was American and his mom is, is Chinese. Say, no, no, his mom was cool. American and his dad was the China pug. Whoever it uh, was, he's fat. Yeah, but he thinks he's a little dog. He okay, so I sleep on the couch at night, but there was a bad storm last night and we found him at the foot of the bed. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about you, but I'm getting in here where everybody else is. Yeah, makes me glad China has her crate with her stuffed animal for comfort. There you go. Yeah. All right, so we talked about this. So here it is. And there is our honeycomb. Now we'll just break off. The quick uh, piece. No, it's the, yeah, sort of the stuff that floats up around the, the edges gets on the side of the moles we'll cut that off in some cases you can actually take a little bit of a knife and just skin around it and get it maybe make it prettier but there you go isn't that gorgeous and that's the trick i found is swirl that soap and get fresh hot soap on there right before do you mind just going ahead and putting it up before we Don't mess it up shall i rinse it off so it's ready next time uh, we'll, no, no, just lay there. We'll rinse it next time. We'll rinse it. Uh, I don't want the sound of the running water in the background. Oh, okay. They won't hear me talking. And we couldn't have them miss out on me talking. <laughs> okay. Ha ha. There you go. It looks to me like it's doing really good, babe. Okay. So I, I think you were successful. I think you were very successful on that. You need to that. invest whatever size ranch that takes. You need two of them. You need to invest in them. Okay. Well, were those not my ranches? Uh, this is not the proper ranch for that. Oh, it's not two. the proper ranch. Okay. Yeah. Be but those were the ranches from the back? Yeah. Okay. Shall we have, let them have a, a close-up of the honey? I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay. Okay. She just wanted to do it. She wanted to bring it over here and show it to you. Isn't that gorgeous? Say, bees do it and we do it. <laughs> there you go. All right. 
So the next white soap is our lotion bar. And as I said, you can save some of the chunks, just put it in there, sort of swirl the top a little bit, and then just put your final chunks in the top, um, and they won't be coated with soap on the top. Just make sure you get them in there good enough they're not gonna fall out or detach. You'll get a white slice. Um, but on the other side, I think that one. oh, isn't that pretty? But on the other side, it'll usually have color. Uh, there you go. So see, like here, nothing, just a little bit there. But there's some chunks. There's probably a chunk hiding in there. I see a dark red spot right there and a dark spot right there. So maybe, or we can put this one in the discount bin. Or I can just take it home. Or <laughs> you can just take it home, Huzzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the smell of that. I love the smell of that. Okay, so what's next, Bridget? Mm -hmm. uh, let's do the restful lavender. Yeah. Restful lavender. I'm really excited about this new design technique. Uh, get a new bin. Uh, that's got the one with the wheels on it, yeah. Uh, and just go ahead and set that one down. We're going to get too many bars per square inch. And, and uh, it helps some... I mean, if you need the space, that's cool, but I think it, spreading them out a little bit helps them cure to uh, cure faster. Isn't that pretty? I call it the the bunt cake. You know how you'll get a swirl bunt cake? So it's the bunt cake. The bunt cake design. There you go. Anyway, so we've got our we've got our bucket and spade, <laughs> and, and we're gonna uh, go. Uh, hunting but when it when it gets here the first thing we're going to have to do is figure out how to put it together yeah then after we put it together then you gotta test it on some stuff so you know what you're detecting yes you want to go show them this that slice yeah. and that slice isn't that pretty yeah and you get like you'll get just white spots too where it just didn't touch at all and remember on oh, this i oh, would smell it bridget just smell it Oh, there's nothing like that French lavender. Mm. Oh, these are pretty. Uh, 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 uh. Show them those two. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. <gasps> Look how pretty. Look how pretty. 
And guys, get yourself an Essential Depot cutter. It makes life so easy. Yep. Save up, save up, buy yourself a cutter. And I do appreciate it if you use my link. Uh, it really helps me out. And uh, the link will be in the description of this video. Yeah, because we had one of those. There was a piece of wood with a little guide and a butcher knife. It was so slow. And this is so much Oh, oh look, look, look. Oh, is that one? Yeah, go oh. show them, go show them, go show them that one. It's pretty. We're just big hams for our soap. Yeah, it looks like a solar system. It looks like a solar system. With stellar respa lavender. Blah, blah, blah. Bridget, one of them, I somehow didn't, I, I got it too short. Want, uh, if you want to take that one home <laughs> to bath the kids in when you're bathing them at night. Yes. Help knock their little butts out. Yes, and we already have our, our, our sleepy time oil, which is, you know, it's Jasper's oil because he has trouble sleeping sometimes. Uh-huh. Is that the restful lavender in argon oil? Uh-huh. Good stuff. Yep. Okay. So, <clears throat> as you know, now that was the restful lavender. Uh, I call that restful lavender because it helps you rest and sleep. Um, if you have somebody that's really having a, a nervous problem, you know, in their lives, they can use this, but tell them that it could, if they've not been sleeping, that when they take a bath or with it or take a shower with it, they could possibly not be able to refrain from sleeping just because their body relaxes and then it's also a sleep aid essential oil, but it's also for stress yeah, and, and anxiety and stuff like that, huh? I'm already on it. Yeah, so. Just touching them. Yeah. But, but what I'm saying is, is, is you want to be cautious when somebody buys that and they're buying it for stress or something because if they've not been sleeping well and they've got to go to work, you were using that morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is <the> oil. <laughs> All right. So this is our, our salty, tingly peppermint. I'm going to put that one first. No, because that's a bad one. I want to see what it looks like. It oh, be the most did you show them what we made? Um, oh, the, the other bar. No, yeah, it. we had this salty, it, it, there was a little wad left, and I hated to waste it, and a little bit of the peppermint, uh, you know, around the edges, and then I saw this big lump, there was quite a bit of lavender around the edges, the rest of the lavender, so we decided to blend it, peppermint and lavender with the sea salt, and so we put, we took all the scraps, and we put them in a plastic container, and we smashed them down, and then we went and put them in the microwave. How many seconds did it take? Um, right at, I think, 25. But 25 I seconds. I did it in a little phases, though. I did 10 seconds, and then did 10 Whoa. seconds, and then it started foofing up. Yeah, as soon as it starts foofing, you stir it once, yeah, and then and you I let pat it, it down. Uh -huh, and then you poof it, let it poof again. The second time you stir it, and then pack it down and stick it in the freezer. Yeah. And it stayed in the freezer for what, about a 30 minutes or an hour? Yeah, somewhere along those lines. And but then it we just got it out, and it was a flexible plastic piece, so I just, you know, took my heel in my hand and forced it out, and then we chopped it up in four pieces. And we're going to take that Ooh, home with us and so enjoy so tingly, salty, peppermint lavender. Uh-huh. But anyway, and I remembered this. When I make salt soap, I'll go ahead, like when it gets cool and I add the essential oils to it, or when it gets to the right temperature, I'll just go ahead and pop it up on low or high, you know, and, and, and it, the heat there just keeps things from seizing. Because salt really makes hot processed soap seize when it starts cooling. It dehydrates it. it, and it yeah, and it keeps it keeps it fluid. Yeah. And I forgot to do that, so this last bar was very unfluid. It, it, it had no fluidity. No, no fluidity. fluidity. And so I really thought that this pink Himalayan salt, when ground, would look pink. And it would be two shades of pink. But no. And thank you so much, Leslie. For uh, for the sample because now I'm going to be able to see again what it looks like. Oh, and and uh, it, it's it's pretty. It's it's totally different than I expected, but yeah. it, it, it's very pretty. Let's see what we if we. Oh, look! Uh, take the take take one of those and 
I'm one of those. Okay. Oh. It's pretty. Mm, it's awesome. Much mm. prettier uh, than the, um, I did, um, it might have been kind of. Uh-oh, dropped it. Oh, yeah, no. Are you throwing my sofa I didn't mean to. Did not mean to. Well, you can't nasty. sell that one, so make sure you put it over there with yeah. that one that. That you did. smushed it a little bit. You smushed it too. Just a little bit. It was an accident. <laughs> trying to flip it around so you can see the thing. Oh, this one's got a cloud in it. Put it over here. Yeah, and put that down and go wash your hands. And then okay. you gotta show them the cloud. Okay. We got a real pretty cloud going on here. We got a cloud. Yeah. Oh, and we got hearts. These are really pretty. And they smell heavenly. And, and I can't imagine why that's white. It's pink Himalayan salt that we, I ground to a powder. And don't use a blender or something with uprise, upright teeth like that. I had to use the grating fe feature. What happened when we put it in the uprise? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's the cloud? Huh? Oh, let's see. Hang on. There's the cloud. But there is a cloud. And we'll hold it with two hands. I don't want to little drop it. See all the fluffy. It's real pretty. Isn't it though? These are kind of slipperier too. Yeah, and the That's matte. I dropped it. They're a little bit more slippery. Peppermint color. I mean, this really does simulate, in my opinion, a close candy cane appearance, even though it's not as red as it would be possibly. It really, really does do the job of being very closely, closely appear, you know, appearing, having a candy cane look to it. So I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, oh, I have a dog lunging. Look, he's lunging. You gotta see. You, you, you can see, see right, here's his legs in flight, you know, in run. Here's his tail maybe sticking up. There's his head. And see, he's 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 galloping, so his, his legs are behind him. Look at this one, Mom. Look, look, look. Huh? Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, that was pretty. If you sell these on a website, make sure you put that designs vary. And you will get chunks sometimes to fall off of salt bars. So be very cautious with it uh, as you're cutting and, and moving it around. Once it cures, you're fine. But at first, you will get some breakage, uh, little crummies instead of, you know, I don't know how to explain it exactly. Very pretty. Oh, that one's pretty. But see how we've got little crumbs? We just yeah. got little crumbs. Little crumbs. Yep. It's time for another layer. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Yes. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll change cutters. Changing cutters. Yeah, you know the little plastic bar that's sitting right there? Would you hand that to me? Yeah. Here you go. Right, move those. Is that what that's for? That's what I use it for. I've been wondering. Uh, it's also considered a rest. If you're transporting, you can rest it. Oh, so don't go ding, 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 ding. 
the whole way there? Yeah. It's, but uh, it helps to prevent the wires, maybe too, from getting stretched. All right, so now we got tingly peppermint off the table. Uh-oh, I had not finished. No, you've forgotten about the, the ugly one. Yeah, this or is the ugly duckling. Yeah, but I, 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 it looks like we might end up having almost all the bars be okay. But we'll see. Sometimes whenever it gets out of pocket like this, it will also have air pockets. So, see, that one's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, these two were okay. They were salvaged. This one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. Even that one's okay. Oh, that one's even pretty. Now these, this one here, huh? It's okay. It is. It, it has a little roughness to the top I'm not fond of, but it's okay. But now these two, I'm not selling that. They look fine, actually. Well, this, this one does. It. This one actually looks fine, but the top looks a little wonky. So, she's such a perfectionist. Uh, let's put these over here to go in the discount bin or one to take home, that kind of thing. See, our ugly duckling turned into a swan. There we go. <laughs> Now, um, that was our tingly salty peppermint, and I didn't film this one on camera um, because I was tired. And, uh, and I said, Bridget, you can do this one. Just put the essential oils in it and stick the, um, and stick the uh, put it in the molds, and then push it over to me, and I'll swirl the top. And, uh, and so I, I didn't do the video on this one. I was bad. Oh, she's currently doing it. And so, do you hear Bridget being so etiquettely well? She says she's currently busy right now. Mm -hmm. She's doing a video. Take a second and see what that phone call is. All right. So I wonder, would you show them what this looks like? This is our pine tar. That one don't look pretty enough. Yeah. Better. And. Uh, the pine tar is for psoriasis, eczema, bug bites, uh, rashes. Um, we the dry itchies. Yeah, we call it the itch be gone soap. Uh, start to rupture. And, uh, and everything. And so that's that. And uh, I have been so tired the last few days. I mean, it's like, I just crash. I'm just crashing, just so tired. And um, it might be the antibiotics that have me on. But in any case, here is our Boo Boo soap. And it's so pretty. So, oh, and this is the wonderful baskets you can buy from Essential Depot. Mm -hmm. I love those things. It, it, you know, you can pick up your soap good out of it uh, with them. It stabilizes your soap so you don't get cracks. Um, it's awesome stuff. And you can stack your soap up. Uh, it's awesome.
Mm. Okay, so our boo-boo soap, we've talked about uh, that it is really great for if you have skin issues, uh, especially non-healing skin issues. Um, oregano is, of course, good for other things. Frankincense is good for other things. But um, uh, it's really good essential oils for, the, for your boo-boos. So this is boo-boo soap. And uh, I, I should have wiped the tines before I cut this because it was just a little bit of the brown. And, and so I've got just little bits of brown on the top edges of the boo-boo soap. And this stuff smells so good in the shower. This one and my veggie soap is my favorite ones for the smell in the shower. And Steve came to bed last night and guess what he smelled like? He smelled like your veggie soap? No, he smelled like cocoa butter. Oh. And you know the cocoa butter and lavender soap we make? Mm -hmm. He smelled just like cocoa butter. I was like, come here. Oh gosh, come here. <laughs> He smelled awesome. Oh, man. So he got into the soaps. Yep. We have a, we have a, a soap selection. Yeah. I do too. And he's been really dry skinned, and that cocoa butter and lavender is awesome. And uh, it's great right before bed, too, of course. It, but it has some regular lavender and some French lavender in it. So take these, uh, well, I guess those two. Three's too hard to carry, isn't it? Yes. Over there. And they're just a tad bit slippery in their semi, you know, non-cured state. Yeah, and you cure these for uh, five to seven days. And I recorded mixing the lye. Uh, and a whole bunch of, of little segments on how to make this soap, and they're not on my on the on the on the SD RAM SD card. They're just not there. <gasps> yeah, That's so all the important bits was there, but the little clips. And all but the clips things. of me, you know, talking about how to measure oils, and the clips with me talking about how to, you know, mix lye and. And, and mixing the line, the oils together, and all that stuff, nothing. They're just gone. So, uh, and so. Huh? Did we lose it when we had our power outage? No, that wouldn't have affected it. It's a battery operated camera. It just had a brain fart. That's all I. Did. That's what I call it a brain fart. My camera had a brain fart. And and it was sort of stinky too because I didn't get well, I didn't get my clips that I put together. And all for y'all guys, I was trying to do some really in depth funness, mm -hmm. but I uh, you know uh, we had some hilarious antics in there too. I know, and they're just not there. They're gone. So anyway. Next time, again, I'm with you guys, and, and I hope you're with me. And and I really do appreciate uh, you being uh, there for me, and uh, and posting comments and letting me know that you know that I've helped you or that you like the video. I appreciate you for hitting the share button uh, and sharing it on your Facebook or Twitter or wherever. Um, I really do love it when you hit the thumbs up button. It really, you know, and it helps the video too, which helps me. And, uh, and I know you have to sit through the commercials, and I really do appreciate that, that you do that for me. And I hope that I do enough in return for you that it makes it worth it. <laughs> All right. Are you tired? I'm tired. I'm not tired. i got a whole long day ahead of me of cleaning. Well, I'm a little tired. I'm but I'm not tired. Soapiness. I'm like a, I'm like that two-year-old that's like bed. What's that? Yeah. No, I'm not tired. No, you're like the kid before Christmas because your presents are gonna be under the tree. There you go. Yeah, that's right. Cause I'm waiting on my I'm waiting on my I'm waiting on my metal detector. Actually, it's Steve's. I get to dig the holes, and I love digging the holes and finding out what's in there. He thinks he's getting the best deal of this because he gets to wave the little wand around and make it go beep. 
but I'm the one that gets to get down in the dirt and dig the holes and get my hands in there and find the treasures. I'm gonna find the treasures. You know, tell them what you'll find over there at the park. I know. And we've got some old home places to do Ooh. and some rivers to walk. Are you gonna do Mimi's? Yes, I'm gonna go back there on the old logging trail behind Mimi's house. Oh, that'll be fun. I bet you'll find all kinds of stuff. And I don't get to go. You can go do that one with us. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hey, everybody. I'm Kimberly, and this is Bridget, and we are Essential Soap. And we have been doing what? We've been making soap. We've been making soap. And we've been making the salty, tingly peppermint and, and the uh, restful lavender. And while we were making it, we was watching us some Digger Dan, wasn't we? Mm -hmm. We got our giggles on so bad. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we thought to ourselves, it is time we made a donation, right? That's right. And so high five. We made a donation to help support the rays of sunshine. The Rays of Sunshine, Deep Digger Dan's Charity. Yeah. And also, we just wanted to say hi to Deep Digger Dan. Deep Digger Dan. And let you know that we love you. And we want to tell everybody out there, just go to YouTube and search for Deep Digger Dan. Mm -hmm. And then click on a video and get in the links and help, some make, help make a child's life better. And by supporting Rays of Sunshine Charity through Deep Digger Dan. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.